Online TV, we have a great relationship with the library. We cover a lot of events. There's always something something going on at the library. And joining us now is Ashley Lehman from the uh, library. You're head of youth services? Yes. Yes. yes that's my title. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Have you been yeah, here before? I, I haven't been on this show. Yeah. yeah. Exciting. Awesome. Yes. So we don't have to get into a lot of detail, but uh, you may have heard that the library is closed this week uh, indefinitely. We're not sure when it's going to reopen. Mm -hmm. There was a minor incident that happened on Saturday. So I was sitting in, uh, I think it was Taco Bell uh, a day or so ago, and I heard a woman behind me going, oh, I went to the library. It was closed. I don't know what's going on over there. So <laughs> do you want to just kind of give, uh, reassure people, the community, that everything is fine yes. over at the library? Yeah, definitely. We, <laughs> we, there was a small electrical fire, so nobody was hurt. Everybody got out safely. Um, the staff was amazing. The people who were there were amazing. Um, the, the fire department was amazing. Um, it got put out super quickly by some of our staff, and um, we just have to assess the smoke damage now. So, um, so yeah, unfortunately, we'll be closed for a while just to get that clean and make sure the library is safe for everybody to return to. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's good to know. Uh, hopefully it won't affect any upcoming events. Uh, what's the next major event that you want to talk yeah, about? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've been planning this for months now, but our summer reading kickoff is June 8th. It's the day after school gets out. We yes. like to remind the kids, like, when we go to the schools, <laughs> they're like, what day is it? It's the day after school gets out. It's all it's you have easy to remember. To remember. <laughs> Every kid knows all the last you have day to of remember. school. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. So um, we usually throw a big party in the backyard just to um, celebrate the start of summer. Um, as librarians, summer is our busy season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have our summer reading challenge. We kick it off. Um, we just want people to come celebrate, have a good time. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have so many fun activities that day. We have a crew of entertainment called Motley Misfits coming um, and they are going to be, there's going to be a juggler, a stilt walker, um, what else, fire dancer, face painters, balloon twisters, all those fun little like almost carnival -y things you can think of. Um, and we will have a couple food trucks this year Ooh, so people yeah. can purchase um, a meal if they would like to. Um, and then we have free ice cream obviously from our um, Friends of the library and free popcorn from um, donated from the Oxford Theater. So nice. there's going to be tons and tons of fun. We also invite a bunch of local organizations like Parks and Rec yeah. and um, historical society. Yes, they, OHS yeah. is going to be there. Orient Art Center is going to um, lead a craft, um, a take-home craft for kids to do. Um, so really, it's just a fun little variety activity for all ages. There's going to be lots of fun for. Um, like everyone, so we're excited. Um, we are funded for that one mostly through a grant through Michigan Humanities Council. So we got a big grant through them for their touring artist grant, and then we also are funded through um, our friends of the library for those programming. Okay. So. okay, we have some video on the screen now where it's really great that you're able to utilize that space behind the library. I don't know if a lot of people are even aware that you know you have all this property back there, and it's it's neat to see you use it. I mean, just recently I was back there for the eclipse. We, yeah. we had a little eclipse viewing party back there, um, so it's a really great use of that space, and it's always well attended. The uh, the the kickoff. Uh, so talk about the summer reading program. So first of all, uh, do people have to register in advance? Um, they don't have to register for the kickoff in advance. We want people just to come. We do um, uh, kind of promote registering on our, we have an online reading tracker called Beanstack where you can track your books um, and your reading and there's uh, different programs for age ranges. So once they register for that, um, we do encourage people to register that weekend. We have mm -hmm. some Tigers tickets to give away if you do register that weekend. Okay. So um, we have a couple of family packs of Tigers tickets um, for a game in August that they can attend um, if you get registered on Beanstack that weekend. So this okay. challenge is for people of all ages, right? Yeah. Not necessarily mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, yeah, so we have pre-readers, which is our um, youngest group of kids. Um, they have a bingo challenge all the way up to adults who have kind of like weekly activities. So bingo for um, youth and teen and then weekly challenges for adults. That's awesome. So mm -hmm. how, how does this work? So someone reads a book, then they go online and they enter information online about yeah. the book? That's basically all it is. <laughs> 
The bingo yeah. challenge. Um, so they'll read a book. Maybe the challenge will be like read a book, a historical fiction book. So they mm -hmm. can mark off that square on mm -hmm. their bingo challenge. Or if it's that challenge for, the, for adults, they may be able to mark that off. Um, or uh, some of the challenges are also like library related activities. Okay. So you can check out an ebook or try some of our e resources. Like we have a really cool one for kids called um, Hive Class where they can learn different sports. Um, so that's one of the challenges. Oh. So, so what, are they, what is that? How do you learn us? Like, what do they check out to learn us? Yeah, so it's <laughs> a, that's an online resource. So they're okay. like little short videos, yeah. little snippets of like different levels of learning, learning a sport, like beginner or like a little intermediate as well. So that one's just okay. aimed mostly at kids, but they have everything from yoga to soccer to pickleball. They have pickleball, that Ooh, one. Well, good. Start yes. young. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I did have a question. So if you have different challenges, especially like I'm curious about the adults or I have um, a couple of college students as well, but one is a avid reader. Mm -hmm. um, do you usually give recommendations? So like a historical fiction, do you have like the librarians? Does everybody kind of say, here's my favorite or yeah. here's some? Yeah, definitely. We yeah. have, sometimes we have library recommended displays okay. about like, this is our favorite book because yeah. of this. Um, but we do encourage if you're looking for a specific topic, we are like professional librarians, so we know how to help you find that right book. So yeah. if you're looking for historical fiction, if you're looking for fantasy, um, we have the knowledge and resources to help you find those books. I will say that like the best books that I have ever read were being part of like book clubs at the library mm -hmm. um, <laughs> because just the the. I don't, the stories, the content, the, and then you can do a discussion as well, so. Yes, we have book, yeah. we have a bunch of book clubs. We yeah. have them for younger kids and adult, adults too. We meet at the library, one of our book clubs meets uh, out at local bars. We have a cookbook club where you, Ooh. it's called Cook the Book, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> lots oh, of different book clubs. I might clubs. have to yeah. look into that this summer. <laughs> that sounds interesting. What about, like, I know a lot of neighborhoods, and mine is one of them, you know, different people are getting together to do um, book clubs. Do you have, do you give recommendations to those groups as yes. well? Yes, and uh, yeah, we definitely have, we have book club kits too that you can okay. check out. So you can stop by the library and some of those popular titles that we know are gonna be popular in book clubs, you can check out a kit that has, I think around 10 books inside of it and it has like a discussion mm -hmm. guide too as well. Okay. So you can um, use the library for your book club too as nice. well. Yeah. So I'd imagine you're already planning for the big finale. Talk about the finale. Yeah, they're moving us through summer already. <laughs> it will be Let's here before down. you know slow it. Slow down, but we have, you know, we do end in the beginning of August, so there's a little okay. bit of a breather between okay. summer reading and school. Yeah. Um, but yeah, our our finale is August third for um, for the teens. Actually, it's a different day, and they're throwing a party at Water Warrior Island. Okay. Um, at yeah. that's at Bald, Bald Mountain. Mountain. Yeah. 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 And then um, for for youth, we have we're bringing in a company. Um, they're in Utica called Reptarium. So we're going to do a reptile show. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to do a little show and tell type of thing. Talk about them, a presentation, and then there'll be a meet and greet right afterward. With uh, um, they can meet and greet with the reptiles. That's neat. Nice. Yeah. Are so you going to have uh, prizes and stuff? We giveaway? are. Yeah. So our um, for youth specifically, our prizes we go to local toy stores to get the prizes, and we have sh they're called showcase prizes. And kids um, read books and complete their bingos for a raffle ticket to for a chance to win one of those prizes. We usually have around 20 of them. Um, we'll go to Green Hippo, Funky Monkey. Um, they graciously offer us a discount because we're the local library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we do give those prizes away. We raffle them off at the um, finale party. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now we've talked about this in the past. The reason you do this is that traditionally there's always been an issue when students return to school there's this curve when mm -hmm. trying to get back into that mindset of learning. So by encouraging kids to read throughout the summer, that kind of helps ease yeah, that, right? Yeah, definitely. Talk about that. Yeah, so um, we're in the market um, for pleasure reading, so reading for fun. Um, and a good way to combat summer slide is to read books that you enjoy reading over the summer. Because mm -hmm. yeah. um, if kids aren't doing anything, it's you know two, three months where they're turning their brains off sometimes. 
So the easiest way to combat that is to just pick up a book and continue to read. So we try to um, make sure there's no summer slide, and summer reading programs are a great way to to do that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot. Oh, okay. What are your reading <laughs> habits? Do you read multiple books? What's on your nightstand right now? You know, I'm not a huge reader, um, but I do like reading. So I probably read a couple books a month. I do have a book club. That's, um, that's more than most, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> when you said not a huge reader, I was like, but that, yeah. I know, a couple, a couple a month. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Gosh, I should have looked and saw the last book, Outlawed. <laughs> I don't know the author. It's about a band of um, women outlaws. Okay. In um, it's kind of like a pseudo. I don't know. It's it's historical fiction, but it's not really like real historical fiction. It was it was a good one. Yeah. Um, so, are you like a paper book, an electronic book? Are you an audio book? Whatever's available. All of the above. <laughs> yeah. I I will say I love that. Which you know I don't know. Do we want to say it on TV because then more books will be checked out that way? But no. <laughs> <laughs> I do love using um, the online options. Yeah. Um, Libby and. Um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now. Hoopla. 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 Yes. Hoopla. Maybe I just, maybe it was a, a <laughs> intentional <laughs> slip. No, but yeah, I love it because, you know, if I, I don't have the ability to get in to go grab mm -hmm. a book, I can read it online or listen to it while I'm cooking or doing other things. Mm -hmm. So I'm an yeah. audiobook in the car person. Yeah. Mm. A physical book if, pick a book if I'm like on the beach. Yeah. But if I'm like just at home, ebook, Kindle. Mm. So I'm a little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. And it's nice that all those options are available. Yeah. And I, I don't know if people know, but you just need your library card and get the app and mm -hmm. you can check anything out. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. There's a, it's Hoopla's. Um, collection is huge. Yeah. Like, if you don't see it like on our catalog, check Hoopla because there is a lot of books on Hoopla. So yeah. Yeah. we yeah. have it. I have quite a few checked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> the book I have on my nightstand right now. I'm big into like Hollywood and films and all that stuff. We talked about that on Saturday. And a book that's on my nightstand right now is an. I guess they call it sort of an oral history, even though it's, I'm reading it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's about the early days of Hollywood, the golden age when people were coming from all over and, you know, what do you need me to do? And they would start off like constructing sets and then they're like, we need an extra. So, okay, now I'm an extra. And hey, you're good on camera. You're a star. Wow. And it's, it's little quotes and excerpts from people who live that and shared their story about Hollywood in its early, early years. And it's really fascinating. Um, you know, a lot of times you read in the early days of Hollywood that it was just excess and, you know, just terrible. But the stories that I'm reading makes it sound like it's really quaint. Like everybody yeah. knew each other and they would all hang out and work on the set for 12 hours and then have a party afterwards. Yeah. Like, so that's kind of sounds like high school so. theater. Yeah, and exactly. I, remember, I mean, that's just so much fun being a yeah. part of that and yeah. crew and cast and everybody kind of coming <laughs> together. So <laughs> what are you reading right now? I am reading, it's called um, On the Other Side of Yes, hmm. and it's by um, Brian Mowry. He's actually the new lead pastor of Kensington Church, and actually he wrote this book several years ago, and hmm. it's actually really good. It's about, yeah. you know, like kind of stepping out and uh, actually saying yes to things instead of, you know, the opposite. So. There you go. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah. Um, you've, uh, the library recently went through some personnel changes. Uh, James Pugh, who I mm -hmm. love, he's gone. He's a director somewhere <laughs> now. Um, but you've replaced him with a new, what, like outreach coordinator? Yeah, well, we have a, a new marketing librarian. Marketing, Yes, okay. yes, and she okay. just started this week. So um, you guys will meet her soon on Yay. this show. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Now, the library, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the library's been doing a podcast here for yeah. better part of a year or more. Oh. And James was a big part of that. Um, so hopefully uh, our new uh, marketing person will step in and do yeah, that. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> well, if the new marketing person <laughs> needs, like, you know, co host or someone to just get uh, get her started. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to help, so. <laughs> there you nice. go. I've been doing a podcast. Yes. So. I think Dan is still into the podcast, so yeah. we still have Dan as the one co-host, so yeah. um, maybe he'll just like kind of bring yeah. random people in. It's a lot of, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Once, once you do it a couple of times, you're like, ooh, I want to keep doing this. Yeah, so. and those those guys were hilarious on their podcast. When when they would finish it, I would process it and put it on SoundCloud, and so I would listen to a little bit of it so I can write up a little synopsis. And those guys had me laughing all the time. Oh, so that's awesome. you know, it's cool that 
to have a podcast about reading and other materials at mm -hmm. the library, but it's fun and entertaining, and, and so let's hope we, we keep that going. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> anything else you want to promote? Anything else you want to get out there? Um, no, like summer, we just have so many programs, and we're excited to get started. We've done a lot of really good planning. Um, we have this awesome program that we have going on. Oh, I'll talk about this. Um, Neighborhood of Stories. It's our partnership with Clarkson Libraries. Okay. So we visit, I, this year we're going to eight different parks around um, Orion Township and Independence Township and Clarkston. So we visit these libraries on Friday mornings, or sorry, parks on Friday mornings and do these um, kind of really fantastical story times where we're like acting out these books like Elephant and Piggy. Um, so it's more of a performance than a regular story time. So it okay. is good for all ages, like all age kids. Yeah. <laughs> well, families. I mean, I don't know all ages. I mean, who doesn't yeah. love a good <laughs> elephant and piggy reenactment? I mean, <laughs> yeah. So that we're continuing that that, that this year. We haven't. Um, it's a five year strong, and we're excited to that that they're excited to do it with us as well. So yeah. uh, that's one of our favorites in the summer. That is going to be fun. When is that starting? Um, that starts mid June. Mid June. Um, okay. I think our park is first. I don't know which park, but we'll be at Children's Park. We'll be at. Um, Camp, uh, Camp Agawam, okay. um, we'll be at a bunch of different parks. So. Okay, that's awesome. great. I yeah. love the library's website. Uh, give my uh, kudos to whoever manages the website because yeah. it's always up to date, great calendar of events, uh, keeps the community informed on, on what's going on there. So whenever mm -hmm. I need to look up information, I go to the library website and it's always up to date and informational. Mm -hmm. So that's orionlibrary.org. Yes, super and simple. And you can have all your questions answered on the website. Mm -hmm. So, yes. yeah. Our calendar events is up there. Um, we should have all of our summer programs on there real soon. So okay. um, I'd say in the next couple of weeks, you'll see everything nice. just pop up there. and. It'll be fun. I'm That's feeling awesome. motivated to hit some goals this summer with reading. I don't <laughs> you know, know, aren't you? Like, like ten I books, yeah. nine books, I mean, I think eight I can, books. I think I can do it. <laughs> I'm always cautious of what I say on camera because then there's a record of it. So, but <laughs> I think I think I can do eight. Well, you can use oh, Beanstack like yeah. Goodreads and kind of keep track of your books that way. So. Okay. It's a library version of Goodreads. There I like it. All right. All right. I I like, and I like the name, too, Beanstalk. <laughs> yeah. I just want to know if I'm eligible to win some toys at the finale. <laughs> that would be my motivation to read yeah. this. Adults are winning gift cards. Um, <laughs> And like an e-reader is the is the grand prize. Oh, so, oh wow! Yes, okay. so we have a lot of um, a lot of fun different prizes for all ages. All right, so I need awesome. to get reading. <laughs> so what's yeah. the date again on that uh, June eighth? <laughs> Kickoff June eighth. June eighth. Yes, right, and you can sign up any day after that. You don't have to sign up on June eighth, but um, any day after that throughout the summer through the beginning of August. Awesome. Yep. Okay. All right, I'll be there with my video camera. You'll see me there. Yeah. I'll be there too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> cool. See you there. And uh, thanks for coming down. You're welcome. Thanks yes, for having thank me. You. Yeah.